Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a seven and a quarter inch circular saw blade into the DCS 577 worm drive brushless saw from DeWalt. DeWalt includes the tool right here that you can use. So this is going to hook on to this nut right here. And then there's also a locking uh, right here. So if you press down this, this will actually lock. If we hook onto it, it'll just kind of spin around in there and it won't do what we want to do. So we actually have to hold down uh, this lock mechanism right here while we are turning this nut. And it's reverse thread, so it shows on here, but it's going to be different from most uh, bolts and nuts. So to tighten, we go counterclockwise, and to loosen, we go clockwise. So I'm pressing down the lock right over here, and while the lock is pressed, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to loosen, which is clockwise, and once that's loosened, I can just do it with my fingers. So that nut comes right out just like that, and then we need to put that blade in, and so the blade um, if it's the one that comes with the saw, you want the writing out, so you want the saw blades to be going um, kind of like curving up like this. So towards the front, they're going to curve up, and that's because as the blade spins, that's the cutting part of the blade. So before we can put the blade in, we have to remove this piece right here, and that gives us a little triangle looking area. So that triangle matches up with the triangle on the circular saw blade. I believe you can put in a smaller blade, but you can't do larger than seven and a quarter inch. So make sure your blade is sized appropriately um, for this saw. You can go smaller, but not larger. So we're gonna put the blade right in here, just like that. And then we're gonna put the, this kind of cover cap back on. And it has a sort of a square, uh, a rectangular, so it only fits in one direction. And then, so we'll put the nut in, and remember, it's reverse threaded. So we're going to want to just thread that in, um, being careful not to, not to have the blade fall off. I'm kind of tilting it back and letting gravity hold that blade in while I finger tighten this a little bit. And then I'm going to come in and tighten it with the provided wrench. And it's kind of interesting to figure out how to get on there. And we're probably going to have to, I'm going to let the safety down. I'm going to press on the uh, lock again while I tighten this. And just look on here, so tighten again is counterclockwise. So while I'm pressing the lock, I'm going to come down and tighten that. And I have to keep pressing the lock the whole time with my finger while I tighten this. Otherwise, it'll just spin in place. I'm, I'm going to do it pretty tight. Um, it'll tighten itself as it goes. That's the reason it's reverse threaded. But you'll want to get this fairly tight. I'll do it about... That's probably good there, maybe a little bit, a little bit more. And there you have it. Now we've got the saw blade in there. So now we just make sure our, our lock is pulled up and it, it'll, it'll kind of go. But that is putting the saw blade in to the Flexvolt 60 amp circular saw from DeWalt. Thanks for watching.